Okay, we'll have a moment of silent meditation and pledge to the flag. Thank you. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And call this meeting of the Montague County Commission to order. Let the record reflect that Commissioners Arnett and Sikora are present. Commissioner Bloom is on leave. Um, first item on the agenda, consent and approval with the County Administrator. Renetta, good morning. Good morning. We have no exonerations to approve today. Minutes for November 17th, 2021. Vouchers, General County Fund, 148,824.31, 911, 1,066.28, Chestnut Ridge Park, 5,325.85, Camp Muffley, 933.90, Mason Dixon Park, 289.66, Transportation Levy, <clears throat> 121,596.83, Recreation Levy, 543, 371.75, Library Levy, 29,845.56, Payroll, 967,911.14. Purchasing card vouchers, General County, 18,083.51. 911-286.70. Assessor's valuation, 95.45. For a voucher total of 1,837,630.94. We have position vacancies for boards and authorities listed on our website. And fiduciary orders for November 24th, 2021. Move to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Any special fiduciary items? Nope. Good. Okay. Uh, next item on the agenda is introduction of new employees personnel changes. Well, I just had one. This is for the Youth Services Center. Morgan Butler uh, has been hired as a part-time relief worker at the Youth Services Center. She's going to be on an on-call basis and not eligible for benefits working um, her starting wage is 1320 per hour and first day of employment is november 29th okay move to approve and second then all those in favor say aye aye, aye. okay thanks any other uh, personnel actions no sir okay comments from the public i'll now open the comments from the public session of the meeting anybody wishing to address the commission come forward Seeing none, close comments from the public. Moving very long. Um, opening responses for notice of bid 2021 MCC CRP 001. Do we have any responses? Yes, we've got two. Uh, one is from Blue Gold Development. I received that one yesterday. And the other is from Marita Incorporated. Received that one this morning. Okay. should be a lump sum amount. There is. Okay. And yours is from Blue and Gold? Blue and Gold Development. You want to go ahead and read that? Uh, total bid price, 144810 Okay. And this one's from Lorita. And a total lump sum bid proposal of 223785 So um, what I would suggest, and generally what we do with these is uh, we'll take a look at them to make sure that they're both bidding the exact same thing and uh, if they are then we'll uh, get a suggestion back we'll probably in the next meeting have a suggestion from our parks uh, superintendent as to which bid in, in consultation with our facilities director uh, as to which bids to accept or if we need some further discussions so Great. having said that we want to go ahead and make that motion so moved all right we'll second that any other discussion? We're not anything else we're missing? No. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. That takes care of that. Next item on the agenda is Colleen Kuhn grants. And she's Colleen, on vacation. She's on vacation. We have no grants. No, she didn't leave anything for me. Okay. Uh, correspondence. 
And the first one is a first quarter summary of activities for the Mon County Teen Court Program as submitted by Child Law Services Incorporated, and that's the firm that's contracted um, to perform the teen court uh, program for us. And it's just a, a just a quick summary of rebuilding, referrals, recruiting, meeting trainings, and uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, we got a press release from Libby Durr, who's the local government uh, liaison with First Energy, and it's regarding Mon Power and Potomac Edison proposed solar energy projects in West Virginia. So they're seeking uh, approval with the PSC to do okay. some solar projects. And I noticed on there there's four, is it four or five different uh, projects areas? Uh, Twenty-six acre reclaimed ash disposal site in Berkeley County, a fifty-one acre site adjacent to Mon Power Substation in Hancock County, ninety-five acre site in Mon County, a forty-four acre reclaimed strip mine property in Tucker County. Yes, and, and I was off working the last couple of days on a home project and Libby did try to get in touch with me before they issued the, the press release because she just wanted us to, to notify me so I'd notify the uh, commission. Uh, but I did ask her about the 95 acre site in Mon County and she said that is beside the uh, ash pile at Fort Martin. Oh, so okay. it's a 95 acre site there. So um, interesting. That's, good use of that mm -hmm. good use of that property mm -hmm. so anyhow um i guess more to come on that but i did i thanked her for letting us know ahead of time good uh, we also have um a letter that was written by jennifer lanehart and heather mcintyre from Milan park properties at the aquatic center and track complex it's just a thank you to the commission for the additional influx of of money uh, okay. and and for the learn to swim program mini swimmers okay and the last piece, oh my gosh, two, two more pieces. Um, the commission uh, back in November of 2020 signed a joint collaboration agreement with the City of Morgantown, the Development Authority, WVU, regarding a project on Richwood Avenue. And that's a project that the Development Authority is heading up. And they asked for some minor tweaks to that, so Commissioner Secor signed that and resonated it back at ASAP. So uh, Commissioner Secor went ahead and signed that, and we just wanted to submit that as part of the record. Yeah, and the changes were all, there were changes at W, and I believe the State Auditor's Office had requested, but there weren't anything material. It was a couple punctuations and small little um, immaterial changes, so, all right. The last piece I have is um, I had received an email from Michael Hopkins uh, regarding the JC's Christmas Parade uh, a few weeks ago, and I asked him for, uh, he was asking for some funding. Uh, I asked him to submit an actual budget regarding the breakdown of what exactly he wanted, he was requesting the commission uh, fund, and he submitted that. I got that this morning. Okay. So I don't know if you want that on your next agenda to approve or. Sure. Do you do you have know what he asked for? Yeah, he's asking for six hundred and fifty dollars total. Okay. Uh, Four hundred dollars would be to uh, West TV, in order to video and produce you know the the parade, and then the rest would be reimbursement to him for Office Depot expenses, uh, for um, entry packets. Okay. Well, uh, the next meeting's the first, so we can still at least take that up before the yeah. actual event because the, the parade's on the 6th. So, yeah, we'll put that in our pile for, for next meeting. Okay. Great. That's all. <laughs> okay. Unfinished business, we have none. New business. To consider for approval and appointment to the Clay Battelle Public Service District. Um, Joanne Brooks has served. Um, she filled the appointment of... Lindsay Johnson, who stepped down, and so she is at, she is asking to be reappointed to fill a full term. Um, we didn't we have been advertising this and have not had any other entries. So, okay, a motion move, to, move approve. to approve the appointment. Yes, you have a second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, 
Consideration to approve the appointment of an audit committee for the selection of a qualified firm to complete the 2021 audit. A motion to approve. So moved. Okay, and I'll second that. And for discussion's sake, um, I assume I haven't had a chance to talk to the uh, clerk, but I assume that the audit committee will be the same as last year. Uh, In-house, it was uh, myself, the clerk, uh, our senior uh, tax deputy, Kelly Palmer, and a representative from outside the county government, which was Dominic Claudio. I did get a hold of Dominic this morning, uh, and he agreed to participate. So I would uh, assume that uh, those, are the, those are the people that are going to continue to be uh, on the audit committee next year. It's a fa fairly simple process, and we meet once. It takes about an hour, and, and it, that's it. So having said that, we have a first and second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Any other new business? No, sir. Okay. Reports from elected officials and or department supervisors. So we have no one here, so we'll assume no one. Reports from county commissioners. Jeff? Just to wish everyone uh, safe travels if they're going somewhere for the holidays, and um, hopefully we get a little warmer here, but uh, happy Thanksgiving to all, and that's pretty much all I've got today. Yeah, I think we're heading into the cold season. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's uh, some colder weather coming in after this weekend. So... Uh, since the last meeting, last Wednesday uh, evening, we had our partnership meeting. On Thursday, we had Milan Park Executive Committee meeting, then a red team, and then we had a discussion. The county administrator and I had a discussion with uh, our attorneys regarding uh, the uh, extension building property purchase. And then in the evening, we had a, another marathon MMPO meeting. Uh, Friday, we had staff reports, and then I did an interview in the, in the afternoon with the media about our broadband project. Uh, this week's a little bit of a light schedule. Um, I did miss, I was supposed to go to the Mason Dixon Historical Park meeting last night, but uh, my home project uh, ran over and I didn't get to make the meeting, so I apologize to JR. And I told JR uh, that's what happens when you're not at a meeting, you get volunteered for something because they basically were planning the Christmas, the Christmas with Santa at the, at the park. So uh, we'll see what he has has for me to do so your santa is basically no i think he, he already has a santa <laughs> <laughs> and, and i think that's a um that's a compliment that uh he didn't pick me because i guess i'm uh. not as large as i as i would think i'm getting <laughs> um today's a regular meeting it's a very light schedule today and uh the rest of the week thursday friday uh friday is a holiday right yes uh, I'm always confused with the uh, uh, federal versus the state. Uh, so wish all of our employees a very, very nice long weekend with your family. Stay safe. And keep paying attention. Watch your three W's. Wash your, watch your dist distance. Wash your hands. And, and uh, wear your mask when you're in public, uh, when you're going to the shopping malls and stuff. Be careful because the numbers are climbing up. And we're following, uh, we're generally a couple weeks behind national trends and even international trends. And all, all, thing, all signs are pointing to going into a little bit more of a, an uptick. So please remember to, uh, to uh, pay attention and uh, watch yourself. Having said that. Move to, move to adjourn. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. We're adjourned.